Bonsoir to Le Monde. Welcome back to Tom Play's Europe for Universality 4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with France. And <laughs> with lots and lots of options. Carrying on from last time. Okay, so what... Let's just check this, because there are a few things we were considering. So I was attacking Milan. So the problem there is that Bohemia will join in, who are normally our ally. It's not necessarily a huge problem. Okay, if we attack Great Britain, we are going to have to deal with Spain and the Papal State. Which could be an issue. So maybe, if they're allies, we'd be better off attacking the Papal State and getting it to Great Britain that way. Because then the Ottomans would join in. Uh, Diplomatic Spain has been discovered. Right, let's just pause that. Well, it's still on 25. I was wondering if we could take something up here instead. on this piece of land here. Okay. Yep, no big issue. And we'll just uh, pull our spy out of there. Might stop building one in the paper state. Hold that fort. Fetishist zealots. Well, it's not terrifying, but perhaps we ought to help anyway. Do we have a navy in this area? Okay, I think we've probably had this a few times. Totally sure. I tend to go with their interests or ours, because although we lose mercantilism, which is money, it keeps them on board. Which is preferable, I think. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is effectively our South African Navy. Or African Navy. We might want to expand it a bit. Especially in terms of... Spain, Pacific or North, Tierra, Australia. Yeah, sure, you want to attack Spain, be my guest. Okay. Especially thinking we can't transport enough troops, basically. So let's do a few more, and we can probably transport enough troops for that uprising to help the Dongo out. So if they've got fetishist zealots, well, they're still fetishist. These are just zealots for fetishism. I still wonder if we should help put them down anyway. Uh, anyway, right, so if we were to attack this country, who would join in? Hauser and Farangoma, which I almost certainly am not pronouncing correctly. So I am heavily inclined to think we ought to have spy networks in these as well. We just may as well take all the land we can. So ditch that one. Oh, these guys want military access. Uh, sure. I am deeply happy that uh, military intervention. I actually have no issue with gaining claims. Totally up for that. Mm. 
looks fine for me. So we'll start building a spine over here as well. And let's see what the diet has to say. So invest in prosperity. Oh, you're about to carnate. And increase our commercial presence. Cheese of Pay trade node. Right. Well, let's just check out that noble one. Because. I don't know, I kind of feel like that might be a good one. We'll have to fight Transoxiana. And we will end up with too many. <laughs> too many diplomatic relations. But at the same time, we've got a nice big army up there. I think we can take them on. Okay, so we'll move them over there for now. Probably fine, we've got an uprising coming over there or something. Nida? Not totally sure. Okay, so. So we're also considering the Papal State slash Great Britain. Bengal is going to be one of these. I think that one there. No particular issue there, but we do need to prioritise. So let's think. I am currently thinking that we should try to do the Siberian campaign that our nobles want and also do an African campaign. Ideally at the same time. Start moving the army and put down these fetishist zealots while we're at it. <laughs> There's just so many options this late in the game. And we have an incredible amount of money, so we really need to be making our armies bigger and bigger all the time. And our navies. So we're effectively not quite so rich because all of those will take a lot of money to maintain. Okay, hang on a minute. Mismanagement? What do you mean? Okay, interesting. So we may also have a massive uprising coming with the United States of America. They want something back, they're not having it back. Absolutely never having it back. Right, so does the United States actually exist? We've got cores on a bunch of our provinces. It necessarily means they actually exist. Strange though that sounds. That's what that is actually ours, isn't it? So if we fabricate a claim on Mosquito. A little concerned that we are building spy networks all the time and we need to be looking at our subjects and improving our relationship with them. So I might just stop there for Great Britain. Got so rigid economic control, strictly amounts of goods being imported from France. Right, we can let the military handle it, or we can restrict export. Apparently letting the military handle this has no effect. So I might go for that one from a gameplay point of view. I'm not sure it's such a good idea from a realistic point of view. But uh, I guess we will find out. Late or Nova. 
I thought we already had a spy network in the Papal State. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I haven't got a bit on that back yet. Right, brilliant. So, so what I'm thinking is we have a claim on this entire area. So we're going to attack them to gain access to these three colonies. But I would also like to have a claim on at least one area each out of these two. So we can expand a little. In the meantime, we're also going to go for that subjugation Cassus Valley that our nobles want. And that's going to bring us into conflict with Transoxiana. But I think our Siberian army can handle that without too many issues. So the only question is whether we also want to launch an attack on the Mamluks. Do not appear... oh no, hang on. These aren't the Mamluks, are they? It's Arachia. These are the Mamluks. Okay, so we've got a load of colonialism, Casas Bellies. So we could probably take them just as colonialism. Maybe. They do have a bunch of people on their side, so do we want to do that at the same time as the other two wars? Maybe we should just restrict ourselves to two. <clears throat> Where are we up to? Right. So you see we're not even in place yet. It takes a very long time to cross Siberia as a rule. Okay, so freed up Nodongo. And our ship has not yet arrived. I did not realise we were still building a spy network here. Right, let's stop that then, because it's clearly not helping. There are the original Mamluks. Oh, joy. At some point we still need to think about Zimbabwe as well to gain access to the other lands. But not to worry. Let's just get our army first. Let's hope our army is actually going to be big enough. Exactly a huge army, is it? Maybe we should try the winter course. And that will cut into our manpower pool. <laughs> Imperialism against all countries. Okay, how many people can we sustain? 46. Right. So it looks like we don't have as many cavalry. Cavalry as we actually need. Is this seriously going to be the place I just left? This is seriously going to be the place I just left. Right, fine. Well, in that case, we're going to start building another army down here. General African Army. Zongo is officially ours. And it, oh no, we're fine. The state is Alsace, isn't it? Okay. So, assuming our Siberian army is in place, our next step is going to be putting down this uprising. To be allied. It'd be a great time to be allied with Saxi. Yeah. 
doesn't really matter. <laughs> now that's going to be big enough to be a big problem. So one plus threes, to be fair, we've got that many spy networks at the moment. The uh, spy master might be a good option. <laughs> For once, we've lost our own marriage with Sardinia. I'm guessing they'll propose remaking it if we're on good enough terms. And if we're not, maybe we should be. Oh, well, that's handy. We're running to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe will handle them for us. Okay. Actually know which leader is which at this stage. So I just run off with a random leader. It'd be nice if it was a leader from the African army. Offer from Sardinia, yeah, definitely accepted. Good to know we're still on good enough terms with them. Looks like Zimbabwe is going to handle our problem for us. So well, let's start heading down to the cap. Yeah. Problem solved. Thanks, Zimbabwe. That saved us a bit of manpower. into one army and we're actually finally nearly ready to go. people spying on us. Got a lot of colonies launching wars. Everyone's launching wars actually. Never been asked for so much military access. Right, so which of these is still a colony? That one's still a colony. So let's move all of those into there. Ooh, okay, right. This is a legitimacy option. Five legitimacy, let's go with that. Because we have been struggling for legitimacy for ages. Okay, how are our spy networks doing? I think we might be almost there with some of these. Yep. So if I just take a bomey, I suppose. Let's go up the side slightly. I'm gonna stop there. What have we got too much of? Diplomatic power. Okay. Well, seeing as we are focused on West Africa right now, let's raise the coast a bit. The English people of his homeland. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we better not. That probably means we've lost one of our advisors though, which is unfortunate. Right, so we just ditch some diplomatic power. But it should improve Africa a bit. Okay, so only option, national tax modifier. Definitely want plus three advisors in administration for our administrative power because that's the one our current idea is in. So it's probably the one we're going to struggle the most with because we also use it, of course, for making provinces into cores. 
Okay, right. So, what do we have? Papal State. That's quite a few generals recently. Okay, so we've got a claim on Moderna. People state's been kind of busy. Right, let's just check our subjects. Who likes us least? Maynilla, apparently. I think they may be the new one. But we can start improving relations with them anyway. Just to be on the safe side. So I think this is our main ship. Which we may need to counter. No, these guys are patrolling. Okay. You better hold up and repair a bit. Okay, so let's just check we've got generals for everyone, because we may not have. So up here near Oirat, they still have a very good general, which is good, because I'm very nervous about them. Places we've got Great Britain itself. They have a general, doesn't need to be amazing. Papal State does not currently have one. And West Africa does not currently have one. They can have that one. Okay. That should do it. That should do it. Diplomat from Siam. Oh, come on, you can handle that, can't you? No, I'll be more than twice their size. Yeah, they're handling it. Good. Right. Okay. Let's go. So, first things first, Papal State. This is the dangerous one. We're going to end up fighting Great Britain, Naples, a bunch of other people. And I was hoping we could get the Ottomans involved. But they're in another war. Right, so maybe we'll off on that one. And hope their war finishes soon. They're actually attacking Austria. Interesting. So this would actually have been a great time to attack Austria. Unfortunately, we have a truce of them, so that isn't really an option. Okay, so, right, well, let's, in that case, focus on the one that the nobles want, which is not taking place in the Americas. Seriously? Subjugation, Transoxiana, and apparently Japan are now going to join in. But at least Shun is not, and it looks like they are on the verge of doing. So I'm going to go for it anyway, and we'll just hope we can deal with them. So this is actually Japan, so we will have to do quite a bit of fighting there. Don't know if our navy is going to be up to this. But... I'm going to send them out anyway. Do you have an unassigned merchant apparently? I'm guessing Australia has just conquered another province. And that's got them to ten provinces. 
Only a guess. It's getting amusingly hard to keep track at the moment. Okay, so we don't actually need Hauser at all, although I do think we have a claim. Well, we've got room for a claim. They may end up not joining in. Okay, colonies become self standing that's fine. Can I launch this attack yet? No, I cannot. Our diplomats have got too far to go. Okay, no problem. And we seriously lost this general just as we launched our attack. It's not appreciated at all. Right, so we're going to have to get another one. Hopefully they will be halfway decent. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, we're re-proselytizing. And we've got our diplomats back, so we can now... Actually, we should probably go that way. Launch our second war. Which ideally I already have been doing, but never mind. So they're now both going to join in, which is fine. Got Zimbabwe and Roma, the Papal State. Yeah, so we're going to keep going, won't we? Okay, we must have two claims already on Zimbabwe. Fair enough. these guys even though they don't have a general. A bit risky. Ooh, have they finished their war with... No, they haven't. Oh no, they have. They finished the war. They're just far too much in debt. <sighs> Do I really want to pay their debt just to get them to join a war with me? I might just improve relations instead. There's always a danger that we'll end up fighting them. So put this trader somewhere. So let's just look for somewhere sensible. I suppose Amazonas is fine. It's time to transfer the trade power in Amazonas. Really? Particularly complaining, I just would have thought I would have been able to take them. Should I try and give these guys a jet? Oh, I can't really, can I? Because I want to keep them as three separate nations. That's my problem. So, they're an enemy, but I can't go there. Probably three things up a bit once I've taken this castle. Okay, fine. Okay, so where are you going? Can't entirely see where they're going, can we? up there because I think they may be heading into this territory here. Oh, that's extremely hard to tell I have to say. But it would be great if we could fight them on a castle because there are a lot of them. On the other hand, I think they're probably lower military tech. 28. 
Yep, and what are we, 29? Not a lot in it, I have to say. Fair enough, not a huge amount we can do. Not entirely happy that Japan got involved last minute. But we will just have to do our best. If we need mercenaries, we will hire mercenaries. Still can't fabricate another claim. At least the West African War is getting quite a lot of uh, assistance from the colonies, which is always appreciated. We just might have to keep an eye on this army here, see if we can actually be the ones to fight them. Oh, brilliant. Seriously thinking, the more we can fight these guys on our castles, the better, really. Oh, what's happening in Japan? Nothing good, I imagine. Okay. Okay. I think this is the time at which we need to start getting mercenary armies. So let's try and get a... Someone equipped who we can start down here. Surely there must be someone. Obviously they can be extremely difficult to find because we have potentially mercenaries all over. But I think this one should come with a leader. Hopefully there won't be two. Weak when they start off. Indirect rule. Okay, I mean that does sound good, but I do wonder if we would be better off. Good grief. Alright, you stay there for now. I think this war's going to go a lot better overall. Deeply worried about the Siberian War now. Hope we don't have any neighbouring claims we can fabricate claims on. Okay, then in that case, let's do I don't know papal revolutionaries. Why not? Just to make life a bit further, if we can some Scottish peasants, which I'm pretty sure they can handle. Can we get the Ottomans to join in yet? No, we cannot. How close are they? No, they started another war. So basically, we are seriously going to need some mercenaries up here, like in a big way. <laughs> we are deeply outnumbered. So, yeah, I think I've uh, somewhat underestimated how powerful these combined forces are. So, all right, I'm going to go for two mercenary companies. I'm going to make them both generals. Looks like our own people are doing a decent job of holding on to that area, at least. So I guess they can stay there because they are at least winning when people attack them. Yeah, I think we're going to have to pull a 
few stops out to win this one. So their morale is still incredibly low, so I can't really afford to move them yet. I'm hoping the fort's going to hold out. They're actually attacking? They're not attacking. Okay, in that case, I'm actually going to leave the castle and attack them myself because they have no general. So hopefully we will still have a fairly easy victory. Hopefully. for their castle yet and I'll just send someone to their castle but did we oh good grief did we lose our mercenary army looks like we did that's annoying we must not have started up fast enough and never mind let's focus on the ones we've got up here so I suppose, is this really a good idea? I have a feeling we're going to get flattened. On the other hand, if we can take the castle, I suppose we can try and hold it. And it would at least be some serious... ...war score in our favour. Okay, these guys are now on scratch, so we can start going into Japan. If we get Japan to pull out, that will probably help the island nations a lot. Not doing as many spy networks anymore, so let's take the prestige instead. heading down into Japan and I'm just going to hope that we take the castle before someone comes and splats us. Which is always a danger. New technology, yes please. Um, up that. Improving relations with the Ottomans, which is good. Is anyone coming for us yet? I can't see anyone. They're gathering a bit. So, I do keep going the wrong way. Any chance the Ottomans are willing to join in if we attack the Papal State? No, they are still not willing to join in. They're fighting another war, they're in debt. Not appreciated. But can't be helped. Right, so we now have... Oh, brilliant. We need to move across to the left, though. Tolerance may make us rich. They may well. It may well. is whether we can actually get Japan to pull out because we're not going to be able to take the capital, are we? So, it's a start. Let's just keep moving. Hope for the best. And if not, we can always turn around and use these guys for Transoxiana. Scotland. Actually, yes, Scotland. 
I'm getting on surprisingly well with everyone. Probably, honestly, due to the power of humanism. Armies over. I'm not sure Japan actually has any armies over there. Ooh, who's this? How's that? Oh, yes, please. So yes, that's good. So we only have a claim on a single province in Hauser. about to fight in the wars? I don't think we are, so we can possibly switch to a Napoleonic Square safely. Means we've temporarily got very low morale. But I don't think we're currently fighting. Really need to stop going right when I'm trying to get to Africa. Yeah, I see what's happened. <laughs> it would appear they are being overrun. I'm not very clear on why we've made so little progress. Oh, we just not have enough people or something. Oh, there's another siege phase coming up. Oh well. Not to worry. Right, I think we should start heading towards Transoxiana. Because Japan isn't a huge threat. So we can at least start moving in that direction across Japan. I mean, they probably are a huge threat, it's just that they don't seem to have an army here. So, the army we've got taking their land, in fact, yeah, forget it completely. Head straight for Transoxiana at this point. And we'll presume we know if Japan fields an army because they'll start taking these lands back. Okay, that's good. It looks like they're retreating, which is a little premature. I suppose I could actually move our army up there and use these guys to start forging into Transoxiana. Transoxiana. I can't actually see how big the army is. Well, then I guess it doesn't matter. Sivir. Cool. But yeah, it looks like the West African war is being handled almost entirely by our colonies. Which is brilliant. Entirely sure how we're able to get go through shunned, presumably our enemy asked for access. So Transoxiana, quite a big place, but they don't tend to be that strong as a rule. Now, obviously the numbers are a bit alarming, so I suppose we'll find out. But in a lot of ways, I'd kind of rather find out of our military, our uh, mercenary armies, rather than our own. So I guess Japan's still invading everyone. Yeah. Bit unfortunate. Yep, happy to just have the one province. So in that case, can we completely annex the others? I guess not, we probably need the castle to fall first. Which is fine. So those have been abolished in France, good to know. They're now doing 
tropical wood in Avomi. Right, I see, because we conquered it and they used to trade in slaves. Makes sense. So, hey, Japan. Want to make peace? No, I don't think so. Go for a try, though. Fantastic if they actually succeeded and then we took over Oirat, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> right, seeing as you're now making progress, let's start moving these guys in as well. little reluctant to start a uh, war with the Papal State now, but let's just give them one last check, see if the Ottomans are willing to join in. And they're not. Still in another war, and they're in less debt, but still in debt. Fighting the Mamluks. Right, okay, so I might give up on that for this occasion. And we'll just focus on this one. Seeing as it looks like West Africa is sorted. Okay, so it looks like this is all Transoxiana. Quite a lot of it. Oh no, that must be Russia. Fair enough. So that, in theory, should allow us to annex this country completely. That's what we wanted. So the war is now over. We will retreat to Benin. But we can start colonising these areas. Which is the entire reason we did this in the first place. Guessing, unfortunately, that we won't be able to start on these two yet. Which is fine, but at least we can make a bit of progress. Oh yeah, you're still going, cool. So we've called those provinces. Probably have made some claims on Transoxiana, really. Well, they're mad. I suppose we could just take some land anyway. guys don't really believe in castles. <laughs> um, let's try and settle it. We have plenty of diplomatic power. So, not too worried about that really. Yep, no problem. to make any trouble. So I'll think about it. Let's check if we can make any more claims on Zimbabwe. Got a couple we can do, apparently. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, so I guess we can keep going on that. Is this a wasteland? Yeah, I thought it might be. So, which way do we go? I'd rather keep them together if possible. So I think I might go above. For now, you can go north. 
manage it on your own, but you pretty much have been all the way through anyway. These guys are not doing well at all. I'm try sending you a massive gift to see if that will help. Failing that, you're probably just going to have to wait for me to come and rescue you. Or until the Japanese get sick of the war. Whichever comes first. Absolutely terrifying before, and now it's just vanished. Okay, done a conversion, so is this going to be all right? I'm not very keen to make peace with them until we have done rather better. Who is this? French Canada revolutionaries. Well, that's a worry, but at the same time, can't really get anyone there. So I'll just give you a massive gift again, because it looks like you're losing a war. So hopefully this will help with the war and with the revolutionaries. But if not, there's only so much I can do to help you. Seriously, Transoxiana, where's your army? fighting another war, you're not. I'm sure I didn't absolutely destroy me. If I expect to find them sneaking around. Oh there they are. They are sneaking around the back. Oh no, no that's Japan. Right, fair enough. Because that was always a risk. Yeah, I definitely don't believe that you can't deal with that now. Take them down while we're here. And where's this one going? Not obvious at all. No, hang on, you hold off for a sec. Good to know we found the army though. I feel better. Possibly they need to retreat now and deal with the Japanese. Yeah, it does look a bit like it. Okay, so let's bring you back. So at least bring you as far as that castle. Be handy if we need you. And these guys can just keep going into Transoxiana. Probably we do is lay siege to the capital if we can. If we seen as we defeat our army, we'll send our biggest army to Samarkand, the capital, and our smaller army to Kish. And they can be doing a siege while we worry about Japan over here. Again. Yeah, you're just offering me money though, it's no good. It's not what my nobles wanted. Okay, or maybe let's bring you all the way back. Well, actually, there aren't many of them, are there? So, 
Maybe we should go straight on the offensive when we're back castles. Okay, 50,000 things happen at once. Luxembourgian separatists. Okay, the peasants aren't going to be a big problem. But the separatists are. Not seeing as we've given up on this war, we can just send someone to deal with them. That should be fine. And I think we now have enough admin power that we can go for the next one of these. So at least... I didn't actually look at that again, but the extra benefit we got from that idea was that if separatists succeed, you get less years, fewer years of separatism, which could be useful because we're not going to get to those Luxembourgians in time. So, French Columbia doesn't like us as much as the others. So let's send and improve relations over. What's French Canada doing? Well, looks like they got rid of a revolutionaries at least, so... Hopefully, they're going to make a bit of progress. We have won the Siege of Samarkand. Awesome. Is this the castle as well? Or is that just a mark saying it's the way back? Yeah, we can always return back here. Yeah, no, that's actually a castle. I might start taking some of the lands around it. And also French Peru has entered Transoxiana, which is fantastic. So we can hopefully start sending the... Oh, there was a castle. Oh, we're fine anyway then. Okay, let's send you back to Paris. Looks like Japan is flattening us again. Yeah, not convinced that gift actually helped. Still very good of Scotland to come all this way. I would still, given the option, like to get Japan to pull out, but I don't think it's happening. I might have a better chance for Transoxiana actually. Let's try and get Transoxiana to pull out. Okay, much better. So now we can bring the mercenary armies back and focus on Japan which will hopefully make Japan very unhappy. Plus that's replenished all the money we gave to the colonies, so... I think we should probably have some claims in Transoxiana in the future, just in case some kind of war breaks out, courtesy of our nobles. Yeah, that's going to be nothing useful again, isn't it? As they're wanting to get out of it in money, I can't do that. My nobles will be very annoyed with me if I accept peace and haven't subjugated you. So apologies, but no real option. New tariff, I'm game to impose a new tariff. Might come in handy. Spain are spreading discontent in our country. Excellent. Maybe I will start building my own spy network again, so I can return the favour. Also, can we make a last claim on Zimbabwe? Nope, not yet. Okay, that's not so bad. Who's this? 
Mamluks. The Mamluks are attacking Zimbabwe. I did not expect that. And I don't think I expected conquering Oira to take quite this long either. Life is full of surprises. Yeah, I'm just going to stop looking at those. <laughs> They're pointless until Japan has pulled out. Which, in theory, they can do at any time with a white piece. Totally up to them. But until that happens, we have to do something. We do. We have lots of money. There's no point looking at Oirat's peace offers. Okay. We can at least take all of this area. Use this. Separatists. Okay, Florida. Well, I want you to deal with that. But if you don't, at least it won't go back to New Holland. Who knows, they might even stray into New Holland's current territory and they'll deal with them. I've actually lost a lot of manpower here. A disloyal nobility for some reason. Have I not been paying attention? Why is the nobility disloyal? Eh, never mind. Assuming we manage to uh, subjugate Oirat, then hopefully they will become loyal pretty quickly. Tell you what, you're quite a big army, let's send you straight down for that castle. That will hopefully make an impression on Japan and might persuade them that they should consider just making a truce and leaving Oirat to us. Same thing, isn't it? More separatists, although it does look like we're dealing with them, so that's good. Ooh. Who heck? Rather closer battle than I was hoping for down there. I didn't think they had that many troops fielded on the continent. But uh, apparently they do. Fair enough. I might head into the mainland because we're still blockading these areas. We will of course stop blockading them if we take them from Japan. Okay, not entirely happy with where you're going. No, with this Oirat army coming up behind us. Maybe I should just start edging in that direction. Diplomat in Zimbabwe has been caught. Well, can't be helped. I'm going to leave him there anyway. Japan's quite an interesting country to play in this game. Uh, he starts off in the Sengoku period with daimyos all over the place, so uniting Japan in itself is no mean feat. So whoever's playing Japan this time has done a pretty good job, I have to say. It's starting to feel bad for Florida, I think I might send him a gift. This is uh, technically because they got all of the new lands before. It's not Japan, is it? I don't think so. 
This entire army grand. Our army is grand. It is fantastic. But apparently we're going to be able to buy infantry for much less money. So we should seriously consider that once this war's over. Insubordinate nobility. Okay, that's unfortunate. 1799. Well, we're just going to have to live with it. Who is this? Okay. Well, whoever they are, they're going down. Kind of questioning. Alright, occupied by Oirat. Didn't realise they had come this far. Alright. Thank you, Sunny Zealots, for drawing my attention to it then. And I kind of assumed we had all the reforms. Reform veil, separation of power, right. Right, petition. Okay, legislative houses gives us better advisor costs. I don't really need that. Uh, I might go for absolutism. It's not very French, really. But no. No, I'm not going to worry too much about them. Okay. Where are we up to? See? Okay, so there's Bengal, CM, so this will be Transoxiana up here, yep. Okay, I've still got me general, still got all of the generals, that's good. Although it looks like the Japanese are always edging over here, so we might want to bring these two armies together. That area, okay, let's take this one back. Don't really care. Oh, they are game for a white piece, that's fine. That's good news. In which case, our mercenary armies can be disbanded. Until next time. Those are definitely the mercenary armies. And why am I only getting money options? French vassal. That's what subjugation means. There we go. So we just started getting a call for peace because we'd won. So we've now got too many diplomatic relations, which is fine. So as our last thing for today, we're just going to want to send an advisor to start improving relations with them. I also could do with finding somewhere to put this army that isn't going to cause them damage. Unfortunately, it looks like 44 is the best I'm going to get, so we'll just go with 44. And if we just speed on a little... Ooh, hang on. Now the nation gives us admin power. Further than our nation gives us prestige. We don't really need the prestige that badly, so let's go with the admin power. Command is declared war, that's fine. I lost another... Oh, good grief. Uh... Like a reform society. Catholic zealots don't no much care. And we've lost some stability. Also fine. Less fine. But I can't constantly be bailing them out. Okay, improve relations with Oirat, because we're going to want that 
to be going. Hopefully they can deal with that themselves. So where does this leave us? Colony's nearly finished, so let's stop it there. Okay, right. Oh, no, I should fill this in. Max from cultures plus two. So at the very least, it's worth promoting Flemish and Portuguese. Possibly Ligurian? Yeah, let's do it. So it's just going to give us less uprisings, hopefully. So, okay, that was harder than expected, or at least took longer than expected. So we didn't manage to do anything with the Papal State or Great Britain because the Ottomans wouldn't help and I didn't fancy it without them. But we've opened the land, opened the way to these three colonies, which is good. And had our first major war in Siberia, which has allowed us to gain a new vassal, which should come in handy later even if it's costing us diplomatic power, should be fine at this stage because we're... I mean, the main thing we're using it for is technology and we don't have that much further to go before we reach the maximum. So I'm not too worried. Plus, plus three advisors throughout, so we'll be fine. If it will manage it, even though it is 1790 now, so 31 years left. So I don't know if we'll actually fight any more wars up here. It's not often I actually fight against Japan, so that was interesting. So yeah, not entirely sure what we're going to do next time, but maybe have another go at the whole Papal State thing. Maybe look at Spain again. Maybe look at Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is probably a good option, actually, because we do want to get towards these lands, even though it's unlikely we'll actually manage it before the end of the game. But, hey, didn't seem like much progress. But we managed what we set out to do, we've kept the nobles happy. I think they're no longer discontent. And that's a little reminder, actually it isn't really a reminder, but it did give me a reminder that we do still have some ships out here. So we are gonna have to deal with those pirates at some point as well. But I think we will leave it there. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.